Hey everyone, Kerry Colat here with Ask Colat, presented by Rudis. Um, the question I had this week was, you know, what, what did you do for conditioning? Um, this, you know, I had a simple little format that I did with conditioning. I thought that I, I had like six or seven workouts um, that I considered my conditioning workouts. And I, I'll tell you how I structured my training was. The most important part of training was the wrestling part, the mat part. And I never wanted anything to, to ruin that part. That's the most important part. I, I always see guys all the time that, you know, I, I have a lift today. And, and then they come into practice and they say, well, I can't. My legs are sore. I'm having trouble staying in my stance. And I used to just think, why would you go and lift that heavy before the most important? We're not weightlifters. We're wrestlers. And, and the weightlifting is supposed to supplement the wrestling, help the wrestling. And conditioning workouts should be the same way. So when I was doing my training you know, depending on what was going to happen in the middle of the day, if my wrestling was going to come in the middle of the day, then the morning, if I was lifting that day, was a, a maybe it was a circuit lift that I knew I could recover from before I hit the mat. Um, or it was, a, it was a light cardio that I knew I could, it was more weight control and I could recover from it before I hit the mat. And then the serious lifting and the serious conditioning would happen in the evening. Now, my conditioning workouts were always 45 minutes. And, and, and I did that just to keep my mind sharp. Like I didn't, I didn't want to be in the practice room for two hours. I didn't want to be in the weight room for two hours. I didn't want to be in a conditioning uh, uh, workout for two hours. Like so, every when I lifted, it was like a forty-five minute, never more than an hour lift. When I conditioned, it was never more than forty-five minutes. And, and specifically, because a conditioning sh workout should the really the the main part of it probably comes in the last fifteen minutes. Um, so the first maybe 15 to, to 25 minutes was the warm-up phase and the phase that started to fatigue your body. And, and then you get into that phase where you really want to try to climb the mountain. And, you know, you only wanted to be in that, I only wanted to be in that, that zone of pain for like 15 minutes. Matches didn't go longer than that um, with overtime. So if I could be in extreme shape for 15 minutes, I was going to be able to, to compete at a high level for seven minutes or eight minutes or you know, nine minutes, whatever it might be. Matches don't go past that. So I was looking for an extreme level of conditioning for 15 minutes. And the reason I tell you I had specific workouts is because I wanted to know I was making gains. Because when you, as an athlete, can see you're making gain, gains, that's a real positive thing. When you shake hands and go into competition that you can, you know, you know where you can go and what level of wrestling you can do and how long you can do it for. Um, one of my workouts was a, a five mile a treadmill program. It took me, I don't know, 30 minutes, you know, I, I think back then. Um, and it was the first mile was at seven, second mile. It's a great workout if you want to write it down. Seven, first mile was at seven miles per hour, second uh, mile was at eight, and the third mile was at nine miles per hour. And those were those three were the most grueling because they were just boring miles. Um, and I used those first three miles and they got faster just to start wearing my legs out. And then the last two miles were eight quarter mile sprints. And so mile four, each, each quarter mile went up and I'd go seven, eight, nine, ten. And then when you hit, when you finish that quarter at 10, I'd have to come down to a walking pace. And then I'd go to the second quarter and it would go of the fifth mile, it would go eight, nine. And then the last quarter was everything I could handle on that treadmill as fast as it would go. And I always tell people that workout was designed for the last quarter. For the last quarter, how could I stay on that treadmill, not touch the sides, and see what I could get that speed up to, and and what kind of distance I could cover, or how much you know how fast I could do that five miles in, in terms of time? And that was one of my my go to conditioning workouts because it, it was a, it was very measurable and I could do it. Same, I used to swim, and I would see how many laps I could get in a certain amount of time. Um, you know, obviously I had some some weight circuits that I did, and I had some aerodyne bike workouts that I did. But I had like six go-to workouts. I didn't, I didn't believe in that mix of everything's new every single time because I wanted to know exactly how I was gauging myself. Um, I wanted to see exactly how much distance I covered, how much weight I put up in a certain amount of time, how, how, how fast I could run five miles or how many laps I could swim. But the most important part I'd say about that is that was done in the evening or it was done uh, where it wasn't going to screw up my wrestling workout. So I find that when people do that kind of stuff, um, I just find that asinine that you're going to mess up the wrestling part 
for something that's supposed to be supplemental to the wrestling part. And when I see, so when I see athletes do that, that makes no sense to me. And when I see coaches do that. Now, if I'm specifically trying to do something, maybe I wanted to kill my legs because I wanted to go in and force myself to stay in my stance. That's different. And you do that occasionally. But to do that on a regular basis makes no sense. Um, so think about how you structure your training. And when we're talking about conditioning workouts, they need to be structured in a manner that it doesn't hurt your wrestling stuff. And then obviously sometimes you do your conditioning at the end of practice. You know, you just, you're already loose. You just went through an hour and 15 minutes on the mat. Then it makes sense if you're going to do a conditioning thing. Then you, okay, can, what can I sustain for 15 or 20 minutes? Because I've already done a, an hour and a half workout or something of that nature. But um, So when it comes to conditioning, structure, time, I think specifically you have five or six workouts that are measurable to you. So every time you can see the gains you're making and when you can make gains, that's really positive towards your confidence when you compete. Uh, thanks again. Um, again, if you have questions for me, you can reach out to, through uh, therudus.com or colat.com and also check Twitter. You can drop them there and maybe I'll catch one there. Um, but I'll see you all next week.